On this following adventure, what we're going to be doing is uh, showing an example of a stored procedure that uses a temp table, but just that you can appreciate um, a difference between T-SQL specifically from the command line and then a stored procedure. Uh, we're going to show something both ways. Now, um, in this case, we're just going to take a, a temp table. We're going to say select into and then declare a temp table. Uh, you know, then we're going to pull in the data from this customer type table. So, you know, when you do this, just, you know, it's a temp table. It's not going to be alive very long. So just come up with something really simple, a really simple name, like select into hash mark Arnold Schwarzenegger. I promise not to make that sound again. And then we're just going to do a select. So we know that when we do this, you know, there we go. We made the table and then we selected from it. Big deal. So what? Uh, but if I run this again, you know what's going to happen, right? There's already an object name. <laughs> Arnold Schwarzenegger in the database. So we know that we can't do that twice. Um, just real quick, the reason why we can't do that is because even though this table does not get created in, in our Acme database, it does get created in the temp database under temporary tables, which has to be refreshed. And there he is. And it also gives it like this ridiculously long name. You know, it's probably all those steroids that Arnold took. Didn't say that. Don't know why that came out. I just, I'm just talking. Um, what's different though, if you're going to make a stored procedure on the other hand, now let's just say for example we're going to call it something really simple, temp table example, that's our procedure, and between the begin and end statements we're basically going to write similar lines of code. We're going to do a select into the temp table and then we're going to do a select from the temp table. There is a big difference though, watch this. Um, here we're going to say select into Chuck Norris and then we're going to select from Chuck Norris. Now, we could have used the same name, it actually wouldn't have mattered. Let me comment out this uh, stuff over here. And let me just, um, also, let me go back to the stored procedure. Oh, let me go back here. Let me just um, run this so that you know that the code that we're looking at is actually the code that, you know. If I go to exact the stored procedure, and by the way, I could just do this because it's the only line, and I can do this all day long, and it'll say, there it is, and I can keep going. But if you don't want to drive people crazy, or if you have any other lines of code that are up here at the same time, put an exec in front of it. It makes you look more exec. Anyway, for some reason, it's letting me run this a million times. Well, I haven't really done a million. Who wants to see a million? Show of hands. Um, what's different? I mean, here, it's basically the same two lines of code, except here, I'm not dropping the table. You know, I'm not saying if exists. So how come it will let me recreate this table and select from it as many times as I want, but then I can't do that over here from the command line? The reason is this. Uh, a temporary table is temporary. It, you know, it stays or numbered, so to speak, or in some case, you know, minutes or seconds or nanoseconds. Um, a temporary table will only exist as long as either you drop it, saying specifically drop table Schwarzenegger, or if the connection is broken. And when I say the connection, I don't mean the connection to SSMS, I mean the connection, like for example in this query editor window, this is its own connection, just like this has a different connection just for editing it, and this is a different connection. Um, another thing that could actually kill the connection is if you restart SQL Server, if you reboot the server, uh, if there is a lightning bolt that comes through the, you know, the data center, different things like that. Wouldn't recommend trying all those, just believe me. Um, but what happens in a stored procedure, every time you run this, it checks in and checks out on its own connection. So basically, every time I do this, uh, it's making a separate connection. You know, it's open, it's closed, it's done. So that way, you know, if you had, if you could see things really fast, you know, you might see, you know, I, um, a table in here, but you're, you're not going to because it just, it happens too quickly. So anyway, the benefit of that is when you're in a stored procedure, you don't have to say stuff like, you know, drop table. Um, you don't have to do if exists up here, drop table. The only time you would have to do that is possibly if you were looping through these tables. If, like, in other words, if you were doing, if you were selecting into a temp table with the same name, but you were doing it a hundred times in a row in a loop, then you would have to, you would have to put like a drop table between each iteration. But basically that's, so this is very simply, using a temp table and a stored procedure, it's easy, you just put it in just like you would from the command line. 
but you have the added benefit of you know being able to do it multiple times you don't have to use a drop table unless you're doing something really intricate with loops and everything there is one added benefit when you run this particular code exactly as is right here and if you even run it one time you get to literally say you blew away Chuck Norris that's huge now the problem is in this real database as it were when we look at tables you know if we look in here da -da -da -da. oh you know what there's um not here what was I thinking primity there's still an Arnold Schwarzenegger table you know boy it'd be nice to take him out too when we close this window and it says do you want to change your you know text and no 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 and when we uh, relook at this now Arnold is gone too so now you can tell your friends I blew away Arnold Schwarzenegger you'll probably have people tell you well he's old what do you want um, hey Chuck Norris so that's basically how you would use in a stored procedure a real simple example whoops that's not it a really simple example of how you could use a temp table and the benefit of not having to drop it periodically